here. But, but my, uh, my improvements aren't confined to the classroom. No, 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 no. We've introduced a new policy here. School dinners are absolutely free, but compulsory. Do try the chips. Oh, I'd love to, thank you. And it's got to be said, the transformation you've brought about, it's amazing. I mean, maybe you're working the children a little bit too hard hmm? now and then. But I think good results, they're more important than anything. Exactly. You're a woman of vision, Miss Smith. Oh, I can see everything, Mr. Finch, quite clearly. But yesterday, I had a 12-year-old girl give me the exact height of the walls of Troy in cubits. And it's ever since the new headmaster arrived. Finch arrived three months ago. Next day, half the staff got flu. Finch replaced them with that lot. Except for the teacher you replaced, and that was just plain weird, her winning the lottery like that. How's that weird? She never played. Said the ticket was posted through her door at midnight. Mm. The world is very strange. Excuse me, colleagues. A moment of your time. May I introduce Miss Sarah Jane Smith? Miss Smith is a journalist who's writing a profile about me for the Sunday Times. I thought it might be useful for her to get a view from the trenches, so to speak. Don't spare my blushes. Hello. Oh, I should think so. And you are? Hmm? Uh, Smith, John Smith. John Smith? I used to have a friend who sometimes went by that name. Well, it's a very common name. He was a very uncommon man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, very nice. More than nice, brilliant. Um, so, um, have you worked here long? No, um, it's only my second day. Oh, you're new then. So, what do you think of the school? I mean, this new curriculum? So many children getting ill. Doesn't that strike you as odd? You don't sound like someone just doing a profile. Well, no harm in a little investigation while I'm here. No, good for you. Good for you. Oh, good for you, Sarah Jane Smith. <laughs> <laughs>